Thank you, Pastor Mike. I, uh, had a, I'm in Genesis chapter 5, uh, verses 3 and following. Um, it's the um, uh, genealogy of Adam. Yes. He was 130 years old when Seth was born, and Seth was 105 years old when Enosh was born, and so on and so forth, all the way to jo- uh, Noah, when he was 500 years old, when Shem was born, mm-hmm. and Ham and Jacob. Now, um, I added up all these ages of uh, all these uh, individuals, um, and I come up with uh, 1,556 years from Adam to Noah. Now, my question is, is that reasonable that the earth was uh, 1,556 years old? When um, from when we calculate their ages from Adam to Noah, or am I on the wrong path? No, I, I think you're you're probably right, and and uh, um, m- most people put it between fifteen hundred and nineteen hundred years uh, is all. Now that sounds like a long time, but when you realize uh, the longevity of everyone, uh, people lived. You know, uh, many people believe that that Noah could have actually uh, visited with Methuselah. So you, you have these, these uh, uh, timetables that are out there, but it didn't take long for man to corrupt himself. And then with, of course, ample food supply, longevity into almost a 1,000 years, they estimate that the uh, amount of people on the earth at the time of the flood was around 7 billion people. Now, that's pretty staggering. Now, people say, well, how can that be? I have gone to family reunions, even in a period of just 30, 40 years, and there's people at that family reunion I don't even know, and I find out they're like a third cousin. So I don't think this is hard to understand, especially with the longevity and also uh, people having kids, probably giant families. Your thoughts? Yeah, what's what I really appreciate in, uh, in in the uh, the Old Testament uh, is how um, it's it's very detailed. I mean, it's it's very very detailed with individuals how long they lived, uh, to what age. I mean, or it's often in, uh, you know what were their children or their children's names, you know who preceded such and such, and 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 sometimes little um, facts and specifics about uh, different ones in different different ways, and uh, so. Um, you know, I, I it's um, it, it's not that hard to understand. Also, in terms of um, we can't look at it assuming our constants, like you just said, Pastor Mike. Um, the fact is, people did uh, presumably live much longer back then, and um, and we often you know, uh, presume that you know there's just you know grandparents, and after that, that's it. Uh, reality is, uh, under that long periods of time, that kind of long lifespans. Um, there's actually uh, much more leeway uh, in terms of, uh, of, of reproduction and, and uh, the generations connecting. And this is just the genealogy uh, uh, following, uh, the, as, as an example, the lineage of Christ all the way back. But when you look, this is just his. There was literally probably hundreds of thousands of people on the earth towards the end there where there was these genealogies as well. Most people concur that uh, Methuselah died the year of the flood. Um, I'm not saying he died in the flood, but he he died during the same year of the flood. And so um, anyway, I hope that sheds some light on it for you, Sean. 